the the poem I decided to talk about was Funeral Blues by W. H. Auden, and um, there was a lot in this poem. I probably could have drawn ten more drawings from this. <laughs> so um, uh, I hope you like it. Thank you. Stop all the clocks, cut off the telephone, prevent the dog from barking with a juicy bone. Silence the pianos and with muffled drum, bring out the coffin, let the mourners come. Let aeroplanes circle moaning overhead, scribbling on the sky the message he is dead. Put crepe bows around the white necks of the public doves. Let the traffic policemen wear black cotton gloves. He was my north, my south, my east and west, my working week and my Sunday rest. My noon, my midnight, my talk, my song. I thought that love would last forever. I was wrong. The stars are not wanted now. Put out everyone. Pack up the moon and dismantle the sun. Pour away the ocean and sweep up the wood, for nothing now can ever come to any good. In this drawing, I chose to um, draw the moon and the sun and the stars being packed up because um, in this stanza, he, the author, pretty much is like, let's just pack, pack up, dismantle the sun, pack up everything, pack up the stars. And I feel like his, his pain is so deep that it's, what's it for? What's this all for? Let's just pack it all up and end it now. Um, another point was that um, the sun gives life to everything. So if you pack up the sun, and then you pack up the moon and you throw off the whole system, it's just not going to work anymore. Probably just like how he feels his life is at the moment with uh, what's happened. Um, none of these things are going to help him get through his pain, so it's pretty much just, just pack it all up. There's n nothing. It, something as important as the sun is not even going to help him get past this uh this grief that he's feeling. Uh, with this picture I drew, I was trying to convey the pain and the darkness that the author's feeling. This is the, it feels, and then I put his head down to kind of, or her head down to make the, feel the heaviness of the pain that they're feeling from um, their love dying. Um, passing away um, so their heads down to convey that heaviness the darkness around them is to he doesn't even want the sun or the moon so he's asked to pack it up so this is pretty much how he's he's feeling about uh, his love passing uh, I try to use the darkness to really show how to try to convey the dark, heavy feeling that is um, that's going on um, from this poem. Uh, with this piece, what I did was I I felt when I was reading the poem, there was a lot of words that were words that were related to circles, um, the sun, the moon, the world, um, a drum clocks, uh, a compass, when he's talking about the, um, he was his north, south, east, and west. And um, I felt that with grief, um, I had read in, uh, from the Caring Place in Pennsylvania, that sometimes the, the pieces of grief can overlap and mix together. Um, they don't really have an ending point sometimes. It's not a straight line when you're experiencing grief sometimes it could feel like you're going in circles um, in the beginning you might feel in, in the intense pains and grief um, then you feel like you're kind of going getting better but then before you know it you know you can get triggered a couple years later on a birthday or a smell or something and it's almost like you're right back to that that pain um, so it's not like you're really moving through a straight line with the grief, but uh, you kind of feel like you're going round and round. And um, I remember reading that on, uh, it was the Caring Place in, from Pennsylvania. 
And so with the author, maybe the circles are a way for him to, uh, you know, subconsciously that he'll probably feel this pain again in the future. Uh, that's probably why he wants to pack up the moon, pack up everything. Why does he have to look at it? Because it reminds him of his love. <laughs>